Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is How to Sort the List. In the last videos, we learned that there are five steps of list activities. We took a closer look at those five steps. The steps are create the list, test the list twice, sort the list, examine the single dots in order to find powerful learning opportunities. Two videos ago, we created the list. In the last video, we tested the list twice. In this video, you will learn how to sort the list. The main question right now is, how do I sort the list? In this video, I'll show you how to sort the list in a way that will be very helpful to you. You'll need three supplies after you finish watching this video. You will need a pencil, you'll need the list that you tested in the last video with the dots on it, and you'll need a new piece of paper. Pause the video until you have all of those supplies ready. Now that your supplies are ready, you will use them soon, but watch the entire video before you start. Make sure you see all of it, then you will use your supplies. In this video, you will see how to transfer the facts that you have marked on this paper onto another sheet of paper into a certain order that will be helpful to you. You may have noticed that in this example, all of the facts with two dots are listed on the bottom. They begin here and they continue here. After that, the facts with one dot are listed next. They start here and continue here. Then all of the facts with zero dots are listed last. They start here and continue here. <clears throat> That's also the order that you will write them on the paper, beginning here writing facts with two dots. Then if there are more, continuing here. After the facts with two dots, switch to the facts with one dot. After all the facts with one dot are finished, then move to the facts that have zero dots. So your paper will look like this, but with your information. <clears throat> Just think about it as right. <clears throat> Just think about it as first writing the facts with two dots, then the facts with one dot, then the facts with zero dots. So how do we sort the facts from this paper onto this paper? We'll write the first nine facts here the next nine facts here, the next nine facts here, and the last nine facts here. Let's begin with the first nine facts. Look at the example paper on the left. We'll begin with the facts that have two dots. And remember, this is an example. You'll do this with your own paper after the video is over. So for now, simply watch. This is the first fact with two dots. So write it here and also cross it off so we know that we've moved it to the new list. This is the next fact with two dots, so write it here and cross it off. This is the next fact with two dots, so write it here and also cross it off. Here's the next fact with two dots, so we'll write it here and cross it off. Now we need to move down the paper a little ways to find the next fact with two dots, which is right here. So we'll write that fact here and we'll also cross it off. This is the next fact with two dots. So we write it here and we cross it off. This is the next fact with two dots, which we'll write here and we'll cross it off. This is the next fact with two dots. So we'll write it here and we'll also cross it off. This is the next fact with two dots. So we'll write it here and cross it off. Notice that we've written nine facts. So this box is full and we'll move to the next box. The next nine facts will be written here. This is the next fact with two dots, which we'll write here and we'll cross it off. Here's the next fact with two dots. So we'll write that fact here and we'll also cross it off. This is the next fact. Here's the next fact. Here's the next fact with two dots. And here's the next fact with two dots, which we'll write here and we'll cross it off. Once you finish all of the facts with two dots, be certain to mark that information on the new list. So I'll mark two dots next to each of these facts. Now let's move to the equations with one dot. And notice that there is still more space in this box to write some of those equations. Let's find the equations with one dot. In this example, this is the first equation with one dot. So write it here and cross it off. This is the next equation with one dot, so we'll write that here and cross it off. This is the next equation with one dot, so we'll write that here and cross it off. You can see that that fills up this box, so we'll move to 
the next box. We'll write the next equation here and we'll cross that off. Here's the next equation with one dot. Here's the next equation with one dot. Here's the next equation with one dot. And you can see that there's one more equation with one dot. So we'll write that equation here and we'll cross that off. And that's the last equation with one dot. We'll be sure to mark each of these with one dot. We don't want to lose that information. By the way, I consider the facts that have one dot to be some of the most important learning opportunities. Those single dots are very important. All of the rest of the facts will go in these spaces. To do that, find the facts that have no dots and write them on the second list and cross them out. Again, when you finish one box, put the rest of the facts in the last box. I'll move quickly through the same pattern, which is finding the facts with no dots, writing them on the second list, and crossing them out. And here is the last fact that has no dots. So we'll copy that onto the second list and we'll cross it out. And now the list is finished. You are about to copy equations from your first piece of paper to your second piece of paper. So you have a nicely sorted list. Now it's your turn. Sort your list on a new piece of paper. And remember to mark the dots on the new piece of paper. Your supplies are ready, so go ahead and sort your list. And after you have finished, we'll continue in the next video. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whiteborny, and this is How to Sort the List.